860 KSFO. Let's take some calls. Uh, 855 Let's go to New Jersey. Frank, WABC. Frank, fire away. You're on the Savage Nation. Mike, uh, you've often talked about how insane the world is. It's upside down. Everything we see, politics, government, uh, the left, uh, what uh, all these people are doing doesn't make sense in the normal world. But you, with all the you know uh, objection to what they're doing, you still sound sane. And it's because of your diversity. And I've taken that example and applied it to my own life. When I'm with family and friends, I refuse to talk about politics. I'll talk about food and plants and animals or sports or whatever. Right, and it's right. Stay away from politics because you're never going to change the mind of a brainwashed liberal. Never. Exactly, Mike. And so I think Mike Savage, people say he's insane, but no. He is sane in an insane world. Okay, and I've taken that philosophy and applied it to my life, and it's helped me tremendously. Well, that's true, and it works for Politics. me. Absolutely. It absolutely does work for me. You cannot change the mind of diehard fanatic left-wing maniacs. And I published, it, I published it in a book titled Liberalism is a Mental Disorder. I did a show on genetics where I came to the conclusion that liberalism is an inherited, genetic, is an inherited mental disorder. Exactly. Because it's, it's intergenerational. The children are actually wackier than the parents. Mike, has liberalism become like uh, uh, synonymous with criminality in our culture? Is that a genetic? Oh, let me ask you a question. Eric Holder is speaking before the, uh, the the largest group of criminals in our country, the American Trial Lawyers Association or the American Bar Association. They're criminals with a uh, with a computer. Everyone knows that. Remember what uh, what who was it? Al Capone said, "Don't give me a gun. Give me a, a, a fountain pen, and I can rob more money with a fountain pen than a gun." So now you change it. I can rob more money with a computer. They would think, and a rigged court system than they can with a machine gun. They don't need a cartel. The lawyers are a cartel. The American Bar Association is the most dangerous cartel in America. Who did they invite to speak? None other than Eric Holder. Look at Eric Holder's background. He sent machine guns to Mexico that wound up killing hundreds of people. Shall I go down the list of the other crimes he committed? So who is the most dangerous man in America? Who is the sanest man in America? Who is the craziest man in America? All aboard. All aboard. All aboard. All aboard. 